A crunch course that is filled with danger zones. In football, it's knock the man down or be knocked down, especially for the fearless hitmen who cover kickoffs. Their mission is simple. Hit anything that moves. I like to hit the ball here and hopefully cause a fumble turnover, something like that. But uh, if, uh, you know, if I can't get to him, I'm going to hit somebody. I'm not going to run 40 yards without hitting somebody. When you get hit by these guys, it's like getting hit with a freight train. These guys know how to, to put every ounce of energy and force behind their tackle or, or the blow they deliver. One yard line, kids up the middle behind the wedge, the 15, and it's deep. I think there's an awful lot of courage involved, but I like to go back to the men uh, of the 101st and the 82nd Airborne. They said, describe courage, and they said, they're the guys that are afraid, but they go anyway. Those who operate in this danger zone have elevated tackling to a punishing science. Another area of high impact is the line of scrimmage. It is called the pit, an area not much bigger than a closet. Yet within its confines is the game's most heavily weighted struggle. In spite of all the specialization, in spite of all the attention that the quarterbacks get, the game is really played up front, uh, more or less right in the trenches, uh, as everyone says. Because when you assume and gain control of that part of the field, it allows you to do what you want to do. It's not so much who gets across the other side the first, it's the force and the power and the balance and the ability to dominate the man after you make contact. It's a physical combat area. It's not like playing in space. It's not like being detached and running down the field to catch a football. It's not like a linebacker taking a drop and squaring up playing a ball when it's in the air. This is hit, hit, hit on every play. The offensive players are like brain surgeon type. They're very careful. And they, they, you know, they think things out. Defense, you're a step behind. You have to be over aggressive. You have to attack this man. Keep taunting him, come at him, and then go. Once you get clean and you see this quarterback, you don't care anything else around you, go right for him and get a good grip on him. It's a clash of wills between the offensive line and the defensive line. One player ends up on top or on bottom by the end of the game. The press never writes about it. Nothing is really said about it. But I think both players generally know who would like to have played football for another quarter and who wouldn't. The line of scrimmage, a no man's land that devours players like the Bermuda Triangle swallow ships. Players have also been known to disappear in the middle of a zone pass defense. When you come over the middle and you're a guy who only weighs 175 or 180, I think you really do, you take your life in your hands because there's some tremendous shots going on in there. A person individually names his certain area. I call it the pay dirt area. If he's going to catch it, make him pay for it. just a certain knack that we have where we can just anticipate when that ball is going to hit his hands and then we're going to make contact right as soon as it touches his hand. Just as there are ways to intensify a hit, there are also methods to lessen the impact. One thing that we learned early in Bill Walsh's offense 
is to, to read the defense. If it's a zone, sit down. It's, it's not very complicated. Just sit between the two guys and catch it and turn up field. When you're going across the middle, man to man, you just keep running across because there's uh, you know, nobody there going to meet you. If it's a uh, zone defense and you keep running through it, you're going to get hurt because there's going to be somebody there waiting for you. Uh, a key example was you know, when Ronaldo got hit in the Atlanta game, he read it too soon. He thought it was man-to-man -man and he kept running. It was a zone and the guy was sitting there waiting for him and it, you know, it cost him. It hurts a lot more when you uh, don't catch the ball. So you should catch the ball. Sometimes you feel you make a, a halfway decent catch and you say, you get hit, take a good shot, you get up and say, hey, now I got him thinking. I can take it. <laughs> you know, it, it's a battle of the minds. A football field is a hazardous runway, and those who navigate it must endure many crash landings to earn their wings in the NFL.